What is going on, everybody? We're back on it. Death Note Episode 3. Had to switch up websites. Um, so there won't be any subtitles here, because I'm doing English dubbed. Um, but next time, I'll definitely make sure that we do. So if you don't see any subtitles, you know, don't worry about it. I wasn't able to get them. Still doing it in English dub. Um, I made the episode a bit brighter, so we'll kind of see how it plays around since I'm not on Netflix right now. Um, and yeah, we got introduced to... Anytime I've heard Death Note referenced or anything like that, I always hear about L and Light. Like the two, I thought they were the same person. Um, like L was just short for Light or something like that, but they're two completely different people. So we'll kind of see how their back and forth plays out. I'm interest. I'm interested to see if they end up maybe if they just remain kind of like enemies throughout the whole entire story. Does it come full circle and maybe they work together to? since they both seem to want to achieve justice. We'll kind of see how that goes. Um, I have clarification from you guys on a couple questions from last episode that L is not aware of the Death Note, because that was kind of that was one of my theories on maybe why he's not revealing his full name. Maybe he's ran into it at some time before. Maybe he got approached by somebody before. Um, you know, just who knows? I mean, the book fell from the sky. Who's to say that never happened before? Maybe L just didn't use it. Maybe he got approached and didn't, you know, who knows. But from my understanding, this has never happened before. So we'll kind of wait and see how it plays out. And then you guys also let me know that the other Grim Reapers can't kill each other. Um, so we have that as well. Um, so they just are pretty much stuck there. But I'm kind of see how it plays out. I need to go back and listen again. Um, what the purpose of the Death Note would be then. <clears throat> I need to go back to episode one and listen to Ryuk talk about um, its use and when it's used because or maybe Light's the first person to ever use it on this magnitude of a scale but I had people tell me you know it's L doesn't know about it the, the Death Note has never been used like this before but was Ryuk once a human that had access to his own Death Note that would would, would just what kill people that he wanted to kill but no one's ever gone on like to just straight genocide level like Light has, or has the Death Note never been in, like, Earth before? I'm pretty sure it has. I'm pretty sure Ryuk himself at one point was a human. I don't know. I've got to go back and watch episode one. I'm getting hung up on that and trying to remember Avatar things and Hunter Hunter chapters and all that kind of stuff, but I'm just trying to remember and grasp um, the Death Note, its origins. Have there been other humans that have used it before? Um... And then, so what's the purpose of them having it in their world? But they could, st Ryuk, can Ryuk still has the ability to kill humans if he wanted to, right? He has his own, and he's familiar with people's names in the human world, because he's spending time there. He could kill his mom at any point, or anybody like that, couldn't he? Um, I don't know, I'll need clarification. I'm sure I'm messing a lot of that up, and it's been explained, but it's only episode three. I'll definitely try to stay on top of it. Let's uh, drag this over here. And go ahead and get on it. So episode three, apologize again, no subtitles. Um, but we'll be here next. I made the episode a bit brighter, so we'll kind of see how it plays out. We're pressing play right now. Double check to see if it looks too bright. Ooh, a little bit. Yeah, I was about to say, nobody knows. Yeah. So they got a whole lot of nothing. They pinpointed it to the country, but still a big ass country. Ooh. So you can kind of see when the person's getting his work done. 
Yeah. It's just a normal person. Yeah, just a normal person going through life, doing it on their downtime. I hate that, uh, voice. Don't say it. Don't. Yeah, he's like, so maybe it's okay. <clears throat> he didn't say it, but he said it. Maybe that'll stop, you know, crime and everything. Nation or worldwide. So, hey, is what Kira doing that bad? He wants to talk to him about it some more. Yeah. Yeah. There's probably people people in there that do think that. Maybe Kira is doing a good thing. He's only killing bad people and it's reducing crime worldwide. I mean, hey. That's creepy. You don't have to sit there. Oh, we've never seen the dad before. Tell me that... Tell me right now his dad is not who I think it's about to be. Tell me right now, that's not his dad. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> I knew exactly. I was about to say, we haven't seen his dad yet. Huh. Is he thinking about what Light said? Oh, I mean, what Elle said, huh? A student. Until L's got that shit blocked. Until you can only use it at the, like, precinct and shit. And just when you think of students in Japan... He sticks out. Do I have a heart attack within 40 seconds if not specified? And if it's not... 
If the details aren't written in the 6 minutes and 40 seconds, what happens? Wait, 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 wait. What did he mean right there about... I don't know. Heart attack details, but he said it's going to provide him with more entertainment. But th speaking of, like, kids in Japan, if, like, oh, if we, th if we think it's a student... It's like, oh, it could be that really smart kid that's the number one student in Japan, huh? Did he start shifting up the time? So he could kind of throw them off a little bit. Now he's doing it while he's in school. But can he leave? is a student, yeah. Yeah. You get people running all around. Student, he changed up the plan. Yeah. So it might make you think it's even more student. So how would he know that, though? Hmm. Yep. It's got Code Geass vibes as far as the mind tricks go. Well, if you if you still think it's a student, see which police officers have student or kids and then kind of boil it down. Agreed. He won't trust, L won't trust them to do it, he'll just show up himself. Mm-hmm. Yep, he'll have to show himself. Well, <laughs> they're both out here playing chess. See who blinks first, though. The note shall become the property of the human world once it touches the ground. Oh, fuck. The owner of the note can recognize the image of voice of original owner, i.e., God of Death. <gasps> they want out. Yep. Start plucking up police officers. Yep, now they're starting to go at each other. Okay. 
People are freaking out. Yep. L has no risk. Mm hmm. They're not wrong, though. What's L got to say about it? What's L going to walk through the door? Nope. And then others are going to. Bro. You better hope there's no like crazy rule that's going to make him just show to the public one day. What's he think? We still don't even know what his deep down motives are. What he wants. He still didn't give that department any kind of... Who's to say he doesn't show up in the morning and everybody's quit? L didn't say anything to reassure them. Until the death note is finished. What does he mean by he sticks around until the death note is finished? What makes it deemed finished? He's nervous. Ryuk seems nervous. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Is it L or the guy in the hat? <clears throat> Mm. Who is it? It's got to be the the guy working with L. You staring at your win out your window at midnight though was kind of. He's never asked Ryuk for a favor. I wonder if we're going to actually see them ever work together. Yes, that's what my question. What makes them different? take human lifespans for themselves. Oh, so they get to live longer by the years they take.
He doesn't get any years back. Yeah. <clears throat> I was wondering if they could be killed or damaged. Oh. They get to see the amount of years they live to and their name. So pretty much it makes their job easy for them. So could he just go see that stalker then? All they have to do is look at them and they get the information they need. They could have stockpiled thousands of years. So could you go get that stalker's info for me? They... What's the deal? He only gets 25. It's not a bad gamble if you have a decent amount of years left. Yep. He wants something in return. Yeah. How long does he get to use the eyes for? Until he dies and then he gets his eyes back? Or how does that work? Can you trust his statements, though? What if he dies tomorrow? I want to know how many. I want to know how long I got left before I commit that. Isn't that the dude we killed, the prisoner? Why would you show us his face? Go back. Hold on. I want to see that guy's face. Does that look like the? Hold on, I'm trying to brighten it up. Does that look like the prisoner's face? Hmm. I don't know, I can't really tell because it's a side profile. I also could say it kind of looks like the guy that... Um... Uh, made that statement in front of everybody. The little, the kind of younger policeman um, that was like well what he's doing isn't the worst thing in the world that guy um, so we kind of had a lot to unpack there I might go back and rewind some of this I need to darken this episode back up but I just wanted to see if like you guys think that's who I think it is because that kind of looks like him but it kind of doesn't but then that's the, but then even if that is it's to say the death note doesn't work and then but that's because that's a whole nother thing so there at the end I was curious kind of the purpose of the, you know, the gods of death and what they do and X, Y, and Z, but we got a good amount of answers there. Um, but what is their, what is their why? What is their purpose, though? Like, clearly they answer to somebody, because I think that was said in episode one, like, who they got their books from. I, I don't know if he said the old man or whatever the, whatever the statement was. Because it's not like they're ferrying dead souls across and making sure nobody gets stuck. Like, they have to live live in limbo to then not let others pass through limbo. But then, I'm, I'm forgetting how they got stuck there. They're, they were once people like Light, correct? That had Death Note access in the human world, used it, but being able to use it while they were alive and human 
curse them to then be stuck in this limbo where they can't die, they can't kill other people, other gods of death. Um, but then their death note still works. What is like just just like in the flow of like you know like everything has like a yin and a yang, an opposite and you know a positive and negative. You know everything comes full circle. So what is their purpose here? Because humans are going to die anyway. And they don't get stuck in this limbo. So why would you have a bunch of death gods running around? What What's to stop... You know how he says he was sitting there bored. What's to stop the death gods one day being like, you know what, I'm tired of sitting here. Let's all go to the human world and see see if we can kill a billion people, you know in a week and they just go there and just start going and they get all those years and they just go like who's is there something to balance that out to challenge them like what is the what's the giving there's got to be something that gives and takes here um but i think i have that connected right ryuk was once like light correct a human that had death note access while he was a human he used it and then got stuck in the limbo the other death gods that we see there are the same thing. We're once human that had death note access. Um, but then how did they get their death note access? Like, when did this start going, you know? Because um, I've, I've had people say we've never seen a death note used, like, on this scale in the human world. So they have been used before, pretty sure. So I think, I, I think that's correct. Ryuk and the other death gods were once, like, light humans using death notes in the real world which then got them stuck. My thing is, whoever's giving out these death notes, I don't know if he said the old man or whatever, who's allowing this to continue and keep, why does he keep making books and allowing this to keep taking place? Like, is there nothing to balance, checks and balance them out? Like I said, what's the stopping a bunch of them from just hopping in the world and killing a thousand people in a day? And they kill 10,000 people in two days, and they just start dropping, like, human population and gaining all these, li gaining all these lives back. Like you said, you can see people's um, time remaining, you know. Every death, they're gaining, like, 20, 30 years, living for thousands, hundreds of thousands of years, um, if you think about it on that scale. Either way, I guess that'll be answered, or you guys can answer that for me. Um, but there at the end, though, he said the difference is he can see people's life expectancy and see their name without even having to know it just by looking at a person. Um, and he gets those life, he gets those years back in exchange. So if, if I live to year, if I live to be a hundred years old, or was it, was it total life expectancy or was it how much you had left? If he came across me when I'm 20 years old, is it from that point on my life expectancy or like I'm guessing the total I I don't really know. Like, if he saw me at 20 and I was supposed to live to 100. Yeah, yeah, I think that's when he sees you. Yeah, yeah, I think that's correct. Because if that was the case, you know, it would be a little bit different. But he said it there. He said, what, 60 minus 40. So if he met somebody when they were 40, he knew they were going to live to their 60. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's when he sees you. Um, He gets half of those lives. So if a human picks up a um, god of death's death note... But then, do I have to then start using their death note? Do they get it back? Is it instant? Like, I just have the, if it falls, I just got to touch it once. And I can go back to using my death note. Is there anything else that goes along with that? And then, so what happens to Ryuk and his kind of, you know, vision? Do Does he gain access to his eyes back once light dies? Do they both separately get to use it? Um, I guess not, because it seems like he's having to give something to get. So I feel like Ryuk is losing sight completely. Um... But he's a god of death who's to say he doesn't have access to kind of view things without needing direct eyesight. Um, so yeah, we got all that there. Um, now that I'm kind of thinking back to it, when Light was talking about the times, he's like, I gotta write it down in 40 seconds, and I got six minutes and 40 seconds, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I think he was just doing that to, like he said, he's killing every, killing a single person on the hour. But um. So if you if you write down somebody's name and the cause of death is not specified within 40 seconds, they'll die of a heart attack. What is then the purpose of needing to write the details? What happens if you don't write the details? That's the part I think I'm still hung up on. Like if because clearly he hasn't been able to see the people that are dying. Not everybody he's killed has been on a TV broadcast, so he can write the details of, oh, this is what happened from said death. Um, I'll need clarification on that, and then. 
uh, like I said, it's got the it's kind of got like a code Geass mental back and forth here, where like Light is kind of like Lelouch in a fact in a sense that he has this power that makes him so damn broken. Um, is anybody else out there with a similar power or has the same mental capability as him going to be able to challenge him at all in the game that he's playing? Um, we've already seen the police force kind of disbanding. They want nothing to do with it. They feel like they're risking themselves and can die at any moment in light. I mean, L is just sitting behind a computer. We don't even know what he looks like, if he's even a real person, if he's even really for us. Um, so we've got them slowly falling apart. Light, so far, hasn't made any kind of conscious effort to persuade them to stay or have trust. So we'll kind of see how that plays out. And then... <laughs> I, I didn't think he had a dad or anything like that. Just because we haven't gotten introduced. I mean, it's only episode three, so you know it's not like it was like, well, we've gone 30 episodes, and now we get introduced to his father. His father's the damn head police chief on the case. <laughs> it's just, a, a, he's going to be in the way. And I feel like it's going to be for bad. I feel like maybe he'll end up finding out that it's light, and then he'll have a decision to make of like turning him in or letting himself be killed. Just It just seems like it's going to end real messy for that. Um, I thought that was a pretty good reveal from there. Um, and I want to say that's about it. Yeah. Uh, everybody will see this on YouTube the same day, the 12th. Um, kind of going to be slower this weekend. Well, no, no differently. YouTube, you guys will still get Hunter Hunter tomorrow. Um, we'll be off Saturday, Sunday for YouTube. Patreon members, you guys should still get two more Avatar, at minimum one more Avatar episode this week. Um, if not two, you guys will definitely get episode seven. Episode six of book two, I made the statement it might have been the best episode of everything I've seen so far. I don't know if that was outlandish to say, but Patreon members got that the other day. Um, you guys should at minimum get um, episode seven, and then if I have time, episode eight. I bring it up in the Hunter Hunter video, but it's unfortunately my birthday on Saturday. Getting pretty old, so might not be able to like get on top of everything this weekend but patreon members you guys will definitely get one more avatar episode if not two um and i want to start mando mandalorian um as well for patreon youtube doesn't seem to be interested in any mandalorian so maybe i'll just watch all of it upload it to patreon and when i finish i'll dump it um i am also in the middle of season four for attack on titan because that's coming up in less than a month i'm on episode four of what is it 23 for season three something like that so that's coming to an end we, ju we just got a lot going on and i'm ready for it so i appreciate it guys um enjoy the hunter hunter video tomorrow youtube um and yeah i'll catch youtube and everybody else on monday patreon members i should see you guys this weekend and i'll talk to you guys in the discord yeah y'all take it easy have a good weekend like share favorite subscribe as always